Hi everyone, I've been doing a lot of comparison videos lately and what I normally do is use one phone, I connect to the pocket Wi-Fi, do the test, then I connect to the other pocket Wi-Fi, do the test and that's how I compare two networks. But some people have been saying I should have two devices and run the test at the same time. And today I want to show you why that's not a very good idea or not particularly fair. Right now, this one is Smart and this one is Globe. And they're both going to test against Converge ICT in PASIG. So let's begin the speed test at the same time. So if we look at these results, we can say Smart got 29 megabit down and 5 up. And we could say Globe got 9 down and 7 up. So Smart did much better. But watch what happens if we test them individually. We'll begin with the Globe one. And look at that miracle. Globe got 38 down and 5 up. Now let's do the same test on Smart. And you can see we've got 33 down and 5 up. So that's why I test them individually rather than at the same time. Now what's causing it? I'm not 100% sure. It could be Wi-Fi interference or it could be LTE interference or it could be some kind of sharing going on with the towers. So we might not know exactly why, but what we do know is that running both tests side by side like this can actually cause interference between the scores, meaning it's not a fair test. So that's why I use a single device, I do the test, and then as quickly as possible I switch to the other network and do the test again. And I think that really gives the fairest results. So for the remainder of this video, I'm going to use one device and I'll swap between the Globe Pocket Wi-Fi and the Smart Pocket Wi-Fi. So let's start with the Globe Pocket Wi-Fi and test against a Globe server in Makati. So we got 38 down and 7 up. That's pretty impressive. And now we're connected to the Smart Pocket Wi-Fi and we're going to test against a PLDT server in PASIG. So let's begin our test. And you can see we've got 35 down and 9 up. And now we're connected to the Globe Pocket Wi-Fi and we'll do a test using the Fast app which is from Netflix. And you can see it scored 40 megabit per second. Let's try again. 39 megabit per second. Try again. 40 megabit per second. And now we're connected to the Smart Pocket Wi-Fi. Let's begin our test. 25 megabit, let's try again. 21 megabit, let's try again. 22 megabit per second. This time we'll test using Meteor, using the Globe Network. Let's begin our test. So we've got 28 meg down, 6 up, and a ping of 30 milliseconds. Let's do the same test using the Smart Pocket Wi-Fi. So we've got 26 down, 7 up, and a ping time of 59 milliseconds. Now based on those results, I think it's safe to say that Globe pretty much won by giving the highest speeds during this off-peak period. But the truth is, having high speeds is just for bragging rights. It doesn't really mean that much because most of us are limited by how much data we're allowed to use in a day or in a month. For example, we might have a daily limit of 800 megabytes or a monthly limit of six gigabytes. So having the high speed, yeah, it gives you bragging rights and it's nice for us to play with. But in reality, what I care about more is how much data you get for your money. And in my opinion, that is smart, at least for pre Paid, they give you the best value for money. So yes, just a quick video. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.